Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am doing a art piece of a dryad. Now, a dryad is a mythological creature from Greek mythology. It tended to be something that was related to certain goddesses, and it's a wood nymph that specifically is generally tied to a certain type of tree in some shape or form, whether that be that they can turn into a tree, or whether that is like they are a defender of a certain tree. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about that in a little more depth. So there were specific ones to laurel trees, there were specific ones to apple and fruit trees, and then there were the, the most common ones are oak trees and ash trees. And each one has a little bit of a different meaning behind it as uh, different types of trees and different types of plants tend to have certain specific meanings, especially when you're talking about Wicca and magic and anything that is somewhat related to that. Any sort of pagan religion tends to have a lot of specific things dealing with that, where certain plants have a certain meaning or they have specific specific effects. It's actually quite interesting to look at that in the mythology, that certain plants had roles in their mythology. Anyways, I did not have a specific type of tree or anything in mind when I created this dryad, but it was just more so that I've always been fascinated by them. I've always thought that not only the ability to turn into a tree, but the fact that they are so connected with nature was something that I was a really big fan of. I've always loved like being able to be a part of nature and go out and see it and just always take it in. It's always been something that helps me to calm down, especially when I'm having really bad anxiety about anything. I really like to go outside and just go for a walk and just not think about <laughs> all the things that are stuck in my brain. But anyways, so I just wanted to share that little tidbit with you. Dryads have been like a big thing in my childhood, especially because I grew up with D&D books in the house and those were like the first things that I ever read. I read the monster manual so many times because the pictures were so interesting and so different. And dryads were one of the first things that I really fell in love with in the fantasy realm. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy and see you guys later. Bye bye.